Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, a common question that I get or a comment, zero W21 is not for hot climates. It's not for hot weather. It's not for towing, it's not for hauling. And when I ask the same people, what is the source of your information? And they go quiet, like they just disappear. Because there are no bases. It's all false claims by people that do not know anything about motor oil. Claiming, some are claiming, I'll post a comment, it's up to 70 degrees, every chart says. Ex with including the owner's manual. There is no chart that it says that it's only up to 70 degrees. It's a nonsense. You cannot tolerate heat, it's a nonsense. Let me show you. Motor oil, you gotta look at the specs. Look at the motor oil. Flashpoint and Firepoint oil defines motor oil, the temperature. This is the maximum temperature at this point. At this temperature, oil becomes ignitable. It ignites. This is the highest it can tolerate, the heat. After that becomes, you have a problem. 400 degrees, look at the 5W-20, 428, 0W-428. 471, 471. So when people say that 0W-20 can let the cannot tolerate the heat. They just pearl, they're claiming, they're basing this information of something who knows what. Purely false statement that it cannot tolerate the heat. Science International clearly shows you, Science International clearly shows you a chart where oils are tested up to 100, minimum 150C, even 0W20. You're probably asking, why are you so zoomed out? Because there will be a separate video I'm gonna disclose or talk about even more in detail. This is just a high level. Yep, up to 150. Your engine oil will never see 150 degrees C. That's 300 Fahrenheit. Why? Because when this oil, because you have coolant temperature. I never seen oil temperature getting higher than coolant temperature. Oil temperature will always stay below coolant. That's what controls the oil temperature, regulates is your coolant. You have oil coolers. Even if you don't have oil cooler, you have a regular car. It's designed to keep the oil temperature below coolant temperature. Because if you run your engine above 250 degrees or at 250 degrees, for an hour, your engine is toast. First of all, no engine, regular car engine, we're not talking about racing engines, that can tolerate heat for a short time and then still gets rebuilt. Regular car engines don't run at 250 Fahrenheit coolant, nor the oil gets that hot. If you run your engine oil at 250 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you have other problems to deal about being 210. You're gonna have blown head gasket, you're gonna have overheated, uh, uh, piston rings, you're gonna have all kind of problems due to the heat. You're gonna have all your O-rings, or your seals will be destroyed and damaged from 250 plus degrees heat. They're not made to be used with high heat, 250 degrees oil. They will just shrink, they will become brittle. And if you do push, you're done, your engine is cooked. And people say, well, it's, it's, I tow, I hold. Well, good. I tow, hold, I tow and I hold too. And I never seen my oil temperature going up higher than the coolant. It always stays within 200 degrees or less. My coolant goes up to, let's say, 230 degrees on my vehicle. My oil will never go beyond 230. I never seen 230. 220, if, if, I'm lucky to see oil for a short time, it might spike for a couple seconds and goes down, drop, drops to, to low 200s. That's how oil works. It gets you thin. No, it doesn't get you thin. It's tested per specification. Sire, like I showed you, J300 at minimum 150C. That's 300 Fahrenheit. Your engine will never see your your overall oil temperature will never see 300 C, or not, I'm sorry, 300 Fahrenheit at 150 C. They test the, those oils. Those are the specifications defined by Science International J300 
oil has to meet those specifications. There are so many standards when it comes to oil that it's unbelievable. They test oil, people think that oil zero, zero means for zero degrees. Absolutely not. That does not mean zero degrees. It means it's tested at 40C. 40C, it's about 100 tested in the lab. It has to meet certain criteria. Zero, the size zero is for 100 degrees. Zero means the oil is tested at 40 degrees C. Yep, 40 degrees C is 100, about 100, about a little bit about 100 Fahrenheit. So how is this equals to 70 degrees that people claim all this nonsense? Then they tested 40C, 100C, and 150C minimum. That's where they test the oils to make sure it stays within the specifications. If you tow, if you haul, you don't have to worry about it. Zero W does not kill engines. Not a single engine have failed zero to W20 viscosity. There are, there are thousands of engines with 300 plus thousand miles of running 0W20. And there is millions of engines running 5W20 that failed. Facebook and Craigslist has plenty of cars are selling it with those thicker viscosities oil engines that have failed locked up. Why? Why is it? If 0W20, I, my own vehicles, I have made videos, I have videos on my channel, people run zero double twenty, three hundred plus thousand miles. My own vehicle, I just removed the valve covers, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand fifty V eight running zero double twenty, no problems. If it gets too thin, you you think people will get three hundred thousand? Absolutely not. It's just a fall claims. It's not what kills the engines. It's not zero W twenty. Does five W kills it? Yes and no. Separate video on that subject. So, read the specs. If you want to know what temperatures you can tolerate, flash and fire point. These are the temperatures. These are the maximum temperature for the oil. Your engine oil, like I said, will never see those temps. Will never see 300, will never see 250. And if you do, if you do hit those temps, 250, for an hour, your engine is done. You're gonna have severe oil consumptions, Severe engine problems, leaking oil, head gasket will be blown, and you know what I mean. When you have head gasket blown, last it's the last thing you're going to be worrying about <laughs> and thinking, oh, my wall is too thin. Now, you're going to think, how am I going to rebuild this engine now? How much money am I going to spend on repairs? Because once the head gasket fails, you have, engine is done. It's beyond, you know, simple repairs. So, that's what, as you can see, from the specs that I showed you, 0W20 does not get you thin. There's always this argument, 0W20 for fuel efficiency. Well, might be, might be not. What about NASCAR uses 0W20? Is it shorter for fuel efficiency or more power? Well, you cannot have better fuel efficiency and more power if you have more drag more wear. So, fuel efficiency equals less friction equals less wear equals a long engine life. So the statement about better fuel efficiency is true. You get better. But you get longer life too because you have less friction and more power. If 0 double 20 was the cause and it was too thin, people will never be able to get 300 plus thousand miles. There won't be thousands of cars on the road running zero W20 with 300 plus thousand. There won't be any. But the matter of fact is there is thousands of cars. So the point people make it's too thin, cannot tolerate the heat, it's a false claims. Otherwise, show me the specs that it gets too thin. Oh, I have engine noise. Are you sure you have the engine noise? Did you measure it? with a sound device? Did you send your oil to the lab analysis to say yes, zero double causes more wear on your engine? No. Those people that make those claims, they don't have any proof. They don't have any standards to back it up their claims. Read the specs and remember, countries in Middle East, they use from zero W20 and all the way up. If zero was W, if zero 
W20 was not suitable for hot climates, do you think it will be recommended? Think again.